ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by it is a very very big news day when it comes to the world of call of duty we actually got a brand new leak regarding the warzone 2 release date it's been something we've all been wondering about for quite some time right on top of that we also got a brand new intel drop for mw2 today as well plenty to get into here starting first with this warzone 2 leak this is stemming from charlie intel yesterday afternoon on twitter and clearly as you guys can see by this tweet breaking an internal document image has leaked revealing warzone 2's launch date as november 16th which is crazy i don't think anyone was guessing Warzone 2 was going to be dropping that soon after the launch of MW2. Curiously enough, this leak was initially from the World of Warcraft Reddit, and on it, there's the launch date for Project Cortez, which is the code name for MW2 as October 28th, but then the Warzone 2 global launch as November 16th, which is very, very surprising. Now, like I just said, October 28th is the MW2 drop date. November 16th is less than three weeks away. It's like two and a half weeks out uh, from the launch of MW2. So that means if you are trying to prepare yourself as much as possible for Warzone 2, you got effectively two and a half weeks to level as many weapons as you can to get as many camos done as you can. If you're trying to jump into Warzone 2 with the best possible chance at success with having certain meta guns leveled and being ready to grind out the game, that's not much time in between launch. Now, there are pros and cons to this November 16th release date, right? Uh, obviously, we get hands on Warzone 2 way earlier. Also, this is at least a month before all the devs for Infinity Ward and Raven and everyone working in Warzone 2 are going to go on a holiday break. Of course, a big issue in the past has been that the Warzone integration and the new Warzone update for Cold War or Vanguard, etc., has happened like two weeks before Christmas and the holidays, and then all the devs go on break for like three weeks for, uh, you know, Christmas and New Year's, meaning everything that's broken in the game stays broken for two to three weeks. We had this issue in Vanguard where console players literally could not play the game. The DMR was broken for two to three weeks over the holidays because no one was there to patch it and fix it. So them dropping it on November 16th is good in that regard because they're going to have time to update the various bugs and problems that are there at launch. We won't have to worry about that break at the holidays causing any major issues in game. Hopefully, right? Cross our fingers. The downside, though, is that multiplayer definitely not going to get much time to breathe before Warzone 2 is here, and a lot of focus and a lot of attention is put there. I'm hoping that they do balance it out well. Personally, I'm not going to lie. I am disappointed that I'm only going to have two and a half weeks to try and get everything grinded out and leveled and ready for Warzone 2, but you guys know we're grinding, getting everything ready for the channel. We're going to be posting so much content come that time. But yeah, Warzone 2, November 16th. It's, uh, it's going to be a crazy month, to say the least. Now, as mentioned, today we also got a brand new Intel drop for MW2. This one is a bit different from our last one. Of course, uh, not too long ago, they ended up doing an Intel drop around the Farm 18 multiplayer map, which gave us our first initial reveal of... Uh, actual multiplayer gameplay. This one is a bit different. This is more character based going over one of the newest additions to the main character lineup in MW2. Of course, we know we're going to see Task Force 141 with Price and Ghost and Soap, etc, etc. We also have Alejandro Vargas as a brand new uh, character in MW2. He's a colonel rank. He's affiliated with the Mexican Special Forces and he's the leader of the Los Vaqueros. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but we actually end up getting about this two minute long video from infinity ward that we can go ahead and watch uh via their tiktok i wish they would post these on their youtube in like 1080p or like 4k like what they do with the trailers but we'll go through we'll listen to this we'll watch this and see what's up how so this is describing how they make a new character and i assume we're gonna see some dev interviews in this as well obviously a part of intel drops so the first thing you want to do when you're creating a modern warfare 2 character is have an idea of what that character's intentions and motivations so, are. So you know, this one, really obviously, to have a lot more behind the scenes the world of in order to build something a lot more niche than a multiplayer map, we'll right? Targets, one specific character. And strategies and dialogue. But we do Motivation get a little bit of gameplay there. This is from the uh, Darkwater mission, I believe, where they're coming really in on the boat. Have military all over the world in and then so is this. We've already seen this sort of like infill, clean house as mission from the gameplay dialogue. To and what that's the uh the Mexican vector military. basically and the fennec like variant is looking for uh, when they play the game you get a writer to write who the guy is and then you bring and jeff life, i think has been in some of the exactly videos the right previously we actually do get a good look at 
Alejandro Vargas here as a character in game. This is the in game model that we're seeing here. So while it might be Twitter quality or like their TikTok re upload rather than like full in game visuals, you can see like the characters are mad detailed. My name is Alain Mesa. And, and this I is who play plays Colonel Vargas, Vargas in the game. I believe that Alejandro has fought It's kind of crazy how similar they look. Times, IRL versus and he just happens to be fighting one in 2022 right now. So we all had Zoom auditions, Zoom callbacks. We're in our So reviews, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Self tapes. We see him, we stop it immediately. It's like, like one to one, you know, dude. The character like we sure? That was my take. Copy was in game. Dude. It's crazy. Nice. Nice. You scan him in. Get and then obviously data, behind the scenes, they have the mocap suits on with all the little balls. Direct the and of course, if you like have seen this stuff before, it's familiar, right? Let's make sure we're still on the hunt for this guy. You create some crazy camera angles. You get everything sequenced out correctly. So the full breakdown well, of and how they brought with Vargas to life in game. <laughs> oh, the wild ones. They called us Los Vaqueros. And you were clean cut. Señores y señoras. The Salmas need soldiers, not sicarios. Now that line in particular is interesting to me. They need soldiers, not sicarios. So perhaps that's teasing into what this story could ultimately be here in MW2. Obviously, like I said, a very different reveal. I'll go ahead and, uh, and mute it and just play it again so we have something moving on the screen here. Uh, but... Like I said, a very different reveal from what we had last week. I'm not going to lie. With these Intel drops, I figured it was going to be a lot more beta content related, showing sort of previewing what we'd expect to see with the beta, particularly the maps. Like one week we'd get Farm 18. We obviously saw a Grand Prix debut a little bit back during COD Champs. Uh, I was also wondering if we would maybe potentially see like maps like Museum or some of the other things we could potentially see in the beta. But it does appear now based off of this that we are going to see various different things revealed via these intel drops so we've had one map we've had one character now i am wondering if and when we're going to get to weapons they did reveal that during the whole call of duty next reveal stream and everything they are going to be detailing the gunsmith gunsmith is also going to be available in the beta so i'm wondering maybe next week we get some information on weaponry maybe more information on the vault pack that we get uh there that's like the uh the cinder weapon pack or whatever it's called could be very interesting there to see what else is revealed during these intel drops we're not sure how frequent these are going to be at this point if it's going to be every week leading up to the beta or every week leading up to launch even if it's going to be bi-weekly in the future who knows but as they do come out if it's cool stuff like this i'll definitely be sure to include it in certain videos just so happened that it fell in line today with actual uh leaked information with the whole warzone 2 date so a lot of uh 2022 content sort of jumbled into one video here but still pretty interesting nonetheless even though if it doesn't show like the the full gameplay scale like what we got last week interesting to see the sort of behind the scenes and of course you get some actual looks at what characters are going to be like and look like within mw2 itself they also ended up posting a slightly wider version on their facebook page of course right after we go through all that it doesn't really change what we're able to see but that being said that is going to wrap things up for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did let me know by dropping a like on it, it would be seriously appreciated and if you are new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed every single day i got you covered with everything going on in cod news updates loadouts tips you name it you're gonna find it all right here so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later peace out